Well, hello there, everybody. This is Mike Falco. We are going to continue the never ending yet fun world of Apollo. So today I wanted to talk about a pretty important topic and one that Apollo has actually been making a lot of uh, advancements in their product to help accommodate a little bit better. So as a long time user of Apollo, I obviously feel pretty strongly that it's one of the better tools on the market for prospecting, sequencing, and I love that everything's in one place. Um, the only complaint I've had about Apollo has been the LinkedIn integration. So up until very recently, there really hasn't been a full API integration. Um, it's been more of a copy paste um, kind of idea, right? So you would add a LinkedIn step to your sequence, but you would then have to basically get redirected, have an auto copy uh, and paste to the prospect that you're sending a connection request to or an email, so on and so forth. However, I've been hearing rumors that that was going to be solved and it looks like it is. So um, let's talk about how to execute this. So um, we're going to go about this the same way that we would set up an email sequence, right? So let me just take a uh, sequence one here. We have obviously a pretty bare Apollo instance. I'm setting this up for a customer, but figured um, I would pop in here and share this with you all once I found out that they actually did activate it. So um, LinkedIn connection request, right? You obviously can go a couple different ways with this. You can do a send message. You can view a profile, which I do recommend um, as an early step in your sequence, and then interact with the post. This one I'm going to give you guys a, a word of caution on. Um, I think it's risky, and I think that the while AI is coming a really good bit along the way, I still don't really trust uh, AI to understand, ingest, and then make a, a correlation with what a reply should be. But that's just my uh, perspective on it. All right, so let's keep it simple here. We're going to go with the connection request, right? So when do we want to send that? Pretty sure that this is self-explanatory, but you can select number of days, minutes, hours, so on and so forth. So how I like to do this is I like to have an email on day one. I like to have a LinkedIn connection request on day two. Then I like to have an email on day three, and then we start spreading out. So depending on how long you guys want to nurture these prospects, that's your own business. But I'm not a big fan of the day one bombardment uh, of here's a call, here's an email, here's a LinkedIn. I'm going to go to your Twitter. I'm going to go to your Reddit. I'm going to go to your Facebook. It's just a lot. It's a little bit overbearing. Um, and this way you're consistently in touch with the prospect, but not in a overly aggressive or overbearing way. All righty, cool. So that's my little rant there. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Let's see what they have in the um, advanced settings. Now, <clears throat> you might want to leverage this here, guys, because the automatically skip tasks, right? This, while it is much smoother and, seem and more seamless than their original quote unquote integration, um, there still is a manual clicking of a button here, which we're going to get into in a minute. So if you have a very, very large prospect pool, you might want to take a strategy of tagging the highest priority people. And then when you get to this LinkedIn step, I'll show you guys how to filter through there. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Now, uh, this is going to be a thread here. This is for the first email. So I'm going to do test, test. We're going to go ahead and save those changes. Now we're going to come, apologies. We're going to see that reflected here in our, in our messaging body. Okay. So what we're going to do next is, and forgive me on this because I only have access to my LinkedIn account right now, but we're going to enroll me into this sequence. So let's find Michael Falco. That's my name, by the way, Michael Falco uh, here. Very good. Um, I just want to remove you from my testing because I was just making sure that this works. I'm going to remove that sequence. Very good. Cool. Um, then I'm going to come to add to sequence. We're going to add to an Apollo sequence. I'm going to do testing. We're not going to auto assign the emails, but that should be another video there. Okay. Um, so now I am enrolled in this sequence, hopefully. Good. All right. So Apollo.io testing, right? This sequence here is just a single step, and I made it the LinkedIn connection request because I don't want to send myself an email. All right, so let's refresh our tasks here. We're going to check out what is new, okay? In the past, 
this is the only button that existed, the view LinkedIn profile. Now they have this execute task button, right? So while you still do have to click, and this is why they're so, so close to nailing this, um, but it's still not fully, fully automated. So this task will execute on its own. Now you'll see here at the bottom left hand of the screen um, that the connection request failed. That's because it's me guys. But if you have a real LinkedIn profile for one of your prospects, this connection request will auto send with the messaging that you templated back here. Okay. Now I like to go with the generic messaging on the connection request if I'm doing scale. Um, I also am not a huge, huge fan of just a ton of scale on the LinkedIn connection request side. I, I kind of like to use that as a um, funnel or filter for my highest priority prospects. Again, teach their own. Everybody has their own ways of doing it. But uh, that's my quick summary here. A lot of exciting things on the Apollo side for LinkedIn. Bye-bye.